I got an idea from a friend of mine who's in a um, top producers loan officer group that I'm in. So um, he went through a bunch of his closed loans and looked at the offers and did a really cool deep dive analysis on what types of offers were getting accepted. So I wanted to do that here with everybody this morning. Uh, we, we know, you know, I've been on here a few times saying this is a really busy market, inventory is low, it's really important to be pre-approved, working with a professional team, have your realtor ready, have your lender ready, be really clear on your budget and know going into a house right away whether or not you're going to want to make an offer. So some people are making offers every weekend and it's, it's tough out there. It may take a few different times making an offer before you actually get one accepted. So again, I want to emphasize working with a full-time realtor who has a good reputation in the area that you're buying, in addition to a lender who's local to the area that you're buying, is really important. So I just did this cool survey of a few of... Uh, the, the the loans that we've got going that have closed. Now, this is all public records. This is not sharing anybody's personal information. You can do this analysis yourself. You can literally go into Mass Land Records. You can pull the, um, the deed. You can pull the mortgage. You can see whether the person got financing, who their loan officer was, what type of loan they used, uh, what bank it was through. You can see what price they paid, what down payment they did. So, Ultimately, all of this is public records. Um, I'm not going to share anybody's names or anything anyway, uh, but it's a, a pretty cool analysis here. So it actually surprised me out of, I, I just pulled 10 uh, purchase transactions and I took a look at a few different factors. The uh, accepted price compared to the listing price. And then I was also wondering what type of loan they used, what they offered for a deposit uh, for down payment, and um, and you know kind of just what the timing was and um, and again you can see the timing if you just go to realtor.com or whatever on any closed transaction you can kind of see when it was on the market when it was contingent and then when it actually sold they list that under the the property details so again not sharing anything that's not already public information um, so just to give you an idea the average percentage above asking price was actually only four percent. Now this is just a handful, this is just 10 that I picked out of some purchases over the last couple months um, at random and, um, and you know a variety of different areas. We serve primarily uh, Western Massachusetts here, so Hampshire, Franklin, and um, Hamden counties. And so yeah, you know I was kind of expecting that maybe properties were going for a lot higher, but again, based on at least this initial survey, pretty cool, 4% above asking price. Um, again, defer to your realtor. Every property is different. They're going to tell you what you need to offer to get that house if you really want it. And you're going to have to go above asking. Um, there was only one out of these 10 that actually went for a little bit below asking. And it was just a hair. Uh, so pretty cool. And then, um, you know, not everybody's using a big down payment and not everybody's going conventional. So again, of the handful that I looked at, and you can find this in public records too, um, eight of the people were using conventional financing, so 80%, that's pretty typical. The other two people were using uh, non-conventional, so a government loan, FHA, um, rural housing, VA, you know, one of those other types of loan programs. And not everybody was doing 20% or more down. Actually, the average down payment was 14%. So don't think that just because you have a low down payment, you're not going to have a shot. You are. The really important piece, I think, is the way that your realtor is crafting the offer with you. So you want to pay really close attention to what do they think are realistic prices. You know, you're probably going to go over asking, so figure out what you're comfortable with on your budget. Know that beforehand with your lender so that you can go into the house comfortable and ready to offer whatever you need to, to get that property. Um, but the realtor is also going to talk to you about some important dates and important provisions. So you're going to have your mortgage commitment date, you're going to have a closing date, and then there's typical provisions like getting an appraisal done, having um, your home inspection as well. 
And so the offers I see um, really address those well. You know, people that get their offers accepted now, their realtors have done a great job at figuring out the seller's needs and making sure that the commitment date, the closing date, and um, all the other provisions are really uh, taken care of. So, you know, those types of provisions, I mean, those aren't really public records. Those are things that you would work out with your realtor that are in the contract. Um, but just in general, some things that I see are, you know, just being a little flexible on the closing date. It's not always a 30-day closing that the seller wants to see. In fact, in this market, I'm actually noticing that a lot of people want a little bit of a longer closing time frame because it gives the seller time to maybe get packed and find their own house that they want to move into as well. Um, so really talk to your agent about what do they think the seller's needs are, what's realistic for the dates. Also, talk to an attorney. Uh, this is really the attorney side of the transaction too, along with your realtor. But you don't want to waive all of your rights, right? You have an, a home inspection provision because it protects you. You have the appraisal in there because it protects you. You have your mortgage commitment because it protects you. So you don't have to go in crazy blind. I'm not seeing people just waiving all of those contingencies at all. They're just carefully crafting the information that they're giving to the seller so that the sellers are comfortable knowing, yes, you have a mortgage commitment, but it's with a reputable lender who's gonna get the job done. Yes, you wanna close within maybe 60 days, but you're flexible. If the seller needs more time, you're willing to do that, or less time, you're willing to do that. So there are things that you can write in, right on your offer agreement that might make the seller more comfortable. So um, hopefully this is helpful, a little bit more of a, a deep dive call than I normally do, but really I think some solid information that's really reassuring that can help people know you can get an accepted offer in this market. You don't need cash. You don't need a huge down payment. People are getting their offers accepted with lower down payments, uh, with both conventional financing or other types of loans, and really just emphasizing working with a professional realtor a professional lender and a team that's local to your area so that the seller's really comfortable knowing that you are definitely going to buy that house, it's all going to work out, and that they can move on with whatever their goals are in their life. So I'm always here to help you. Call me, text me, message me. Um, don't Snapchat me. Just kidding, you can if you really want to. But I'm always happy to help with any mortgage or real estate related questions. Um, or anything else that you want to chat about and I'll be on next Tuesday and Thursday. Thanks everyone.